Live from New Orleans, it's theCUBE. Covering Veeam on 2017. Brought to you by Veeam. Welcome back to New Orleans, everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. This is our first day of coverage of Veeam on the, Veeam on 2017, the first year, Stu, we've ever done Veeam on, uh, and we love the customer segments. We have a great one coming up now. Martin Hood is the IS manager of Hologic, and Chris Van Asselberg is the manager of Server Ops, also at Hologic. Gents, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Give us the setup on Hologic. What do you guys do? Um, what's your shtick? Sure, Hologic is a developer, manufacturer, and supplier of diagnostic, surgical, and breast imaging uh, equipment, all in the medical field. So what's happening in, in the business that affects IT? Like, what's the conversation like from the business? Sure, so the, the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The conversation the last couple of years has all been cloud, cloud, cloud. You know, a very, very interesting topic, but this year it's all about digital transformation, um, IOT, and uh, probably most importantly to Martin and I is availability. Well, when you think about, when you think about IOT, uh, it just changes everything. It, it, yeah. it scares the life out of you with security and... Always being watched. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then, then availability obviously is, they're like two sides of the same same coin. So when you guys sit down and 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 the business moves fast. I mean, generally speaking, don't hate me for saying this, but the business oftentimes moves faster than IT can move. But mm -hmm. is that changing in your organization? How are you changing it, and and what are you doing to change it? I think we're using better tools. Um, we haven't the stuff like many IT departments, so we have to adapt by using the best tools that are available. And um, we about. 12 to 15 months ago, explored Veeam as an opportunity, and it's clearly made a difference. You know, staff have a lot more time to dedicate to things that will make a positive difference to the business, rather than fixing problems. Um, so those problems were taking up an awful lot of time in the past, not so much so now. So, so maybe paint a picture of what your environment looks like. Um, you know, apps that you're servicing, what the infrastructure looks like, virtualization, maybe components of that. Oh. Major so our, our core our core infrastructure is um, foundation on Cisco UCS, EMC storage, and uh, backups using obviously uh, Exagrid storage, and then uh, Veeam is our availability platform. Um, from an internal IT organization, you know we run everything from Oracle to Salesforce to Hadoop, you know um, Ice One storage with you know petabytes of uh, image data, et cetera. So um, lots and lots of applications. Um, obviously no no downtime expected from anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a pretty good you know, infrastructure um, to run all that on. And, and what is your sort of strategy and architecture around availability, backup, availability is sort of morphing together? Yeah. yeah, well we live in a world where everybody wants things instantly, and that, it's no different when it comes to restoring files, for example. Uh, Hologic have gone on a heavy recruitment drive for top talent, and obviously that top talent has high expectations. So we have to deliver on those expectations. So no longer can we wait a week to restore a file. Even yeah. a few days is too long. So and we need the right tools to get that job done quicker. Yeah. And to be honest, availability is not, you know, not out of our grasp anymore. With the technology available today, it's actually very easy to do it. We have um, data centers around the world. We're able to replicate real time over a gigabit plus you know, connections, five gig connections, 10 gig connections if need be. Replicate data real time, failover between data centers. Um, and also even between on-prem and the cloud you know, that is all possible today to achieve, you know, superior uptime. And when you sit down with a business, I mean, do you, uh, well, f first of all, do you, do you do chargebacks? We do not do chargeback, we do showback. Okay. It's so important for people to understand what something costs, but obviously chargeback is a, a different model that we don't use. So when you do, when you have a conversation with the business uh, about backup, I mean, in the old days it was, and maybe not so old days, it was one size fits all. Here you go, you get the bronze level of service, everybody yeah. gets it. Are you able to tune the granularity of your service offering? Absolutely. I mean, there, there's systems that we want to back up, and you know, we we for example back up you know uh, our East Coast data center to an Exagrid. We replicate that to San Diego, and for DR purposes, the um, acceptance is that it's okay that it might take a day, a week, or even up to a month to be able to restore that data to be come back online. We also have the option to restore to uh, Microsoft Azure if we want to, but we also have systems where it's not a backup issue. It's 
yes, we need the backups. We need them every 15 minutes to disk, replicate it off-site as soon as possible. But they also want us to replicate the data real-time from data center to data center, provide real-time monitoring and real-time failover. And, and is it the enable, sorry Stu, then I'll let you jump in. Is the enabler there Veeam, is it stuff that you've architected yourself, some kind of combination? Veeam's our um, primary uh, system for uh, backups. It's obviously phenomenal, works great, goes to an exagrid, replicates real-time exagrid to um, exagrid uh, east coast to west coast. Uh, Veeam availability uh, also has a uh, replication, which we've uh, pursued on you know, many core VMs that require it. You know, system integration tools that are not really on-prem, they're tools that exist on-prem, but their purpose is to pull data from the sales forces of the world, interface with, business systems that might also be off-site, and we replicate them uh, from the east coast to the west coast real time. You, you mentioned that from on top, you're hearing, you were hearing the cloud, cloud, cloud message. Yeah. You know, how do you, is cloud a strategic initiative now? How do you put together the pieces, and you know, where, where does Veeam fit uh, in, in that discussion? I think it's, it's, uh, it's been looked at. It's, it, it's quite an expensive uh, option for us to go down. I and mean, I think we ha we have you, the resources. You're saying public cloud would be expensive? Or? Uh, for us, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we have the we have the resources ourselves. We have multiple data centers uh, globally, and we have the staff with the skill set to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not really been a, a financially viable option mm -hmm. at the moment. But we, we, we've you done Azure. You're doing some things with. Or? We actually do business with Azure and um, B Cloud Air. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually one of VMware's first customers at B Cloud Air, and we also do business in AWS. The important thing about a cloud strategy is to understand its strengths and its weaknesses. Mm -hmm. You know, the idea of the cloud for Hologic is not to put a virtual machine up in the cloud. We can run those virtual machines on-prem mm -hmm. less expensive than we can run them on the cloud. Now on the flip side, if you look at some SaaS applications like um, email, Skype for Business, IoT, et cetera, where the cost isn't the compute, memory, uh, storage, et cetera, it's really in the whole package of maintaining these systems, patching these systems, you know, the skill sets to maintain it, et cetera, it sometimes makes sense to, for these SaaS apps to host it in the public cloud but for the virtual machines that exist as you know legacy systems to host them on-prem. How's that ride for vCloud Air been for you? They, they recently kind of moved, I believe it's OVH is taking over management of that. What, 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 what's your experience been? It's been interesting, a mm -hmm. um, lot of promises. Um, strong VMware partnership, we uh, have you know always been an EMC uh, partner, obviously that continued when they uh, acquired VMware, and um, unfortunately we started in their Texas data center. They offered to move us to Japan seamlessly, it wasn't the most seamless thing, but it worked well um, overall. Um, they then asked us to move out of their Japan data center because they closed it uh, March 31st, I believe. So we had to move out of that, so they're no longer one of our key uh, public clouds. We have a, a Germany data center that we um, we replicate exchange real time using DAG replication and front end it with load balancers. One of the data centers that we're utilizing is a uh, vCloud instance in Germany that will um, also go away shortly, so. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and what, what brings both of you to Vmon? You know, what are your expectations coming in? How, how's the experience been so far? I mean, a lot of the uh, things we saw this morning, the the, the new in innovations, these are all things that we've been on our wish list, if you want, for some time. Uh, particularly things like uh, continuous uh, replication, that's a huge, huge thing for us. It's sort of phase two. You know, we've, we've rolled out Veeam. Now we're looking for the next step, and that's the continuous replication of our VMs. So that was a, a real, uh, real boon to hear such uh, such, such news coming yeah. coming soon. Some of the other priorities, obviously, um, we really want to hear about the new technology. Um, as Martin just said, you know, the replication piece is working well today, but the continuous replication, the um, method where we're no longer snapshot based, and instead, you know, there's a driver within the VMware tools or some other methodology to allow that real-time OS replication uh, is a benefit to us. Um, but we are looking at lots of SaaS apps. You know, obviously, um, SharePoint for Hologic is in uh, Office 365. Um, we don't want to go back to uh, you know five years ago where it was five different backups products depending on you know what system we're looking at. We want to use Veeam to back up our SharePoint environment. We want to use Veeam to back up our Exchange environment, whether it's on-prem or Office 365. And uh, long term, we want to back up you know uh, or o um, sorry AWS or Office 3 or Azure as well to make sure that you know we have one system to back it all up. You want Veeam to be your single backup platform, and it, and it, it is today, or it's becoming today? It Veeam is there. our only backup product today that we have. 
when we uh, sent SharePoint to the cloud, we put a halt on the second phase, which is to move our team sites, which is where our data is. And it is literally waiting for the Veeam SharePoint backup uh, technology to become available. And then the rest of it will move up there uh, seamlessly to make sure that whole logic is protected. So the business value and, and benefit of having that simple, single architecture is worth the wait. Yeah, what you're saying. I mean, if you look at VMware, you know the reason they've been successful isn't just their technology is amazing; it's also their certification program. They, you know, they they brought a bunch of IT people in. You know, companies everywhere have you know VCPs or even higher nowadays. You know, so you have talented people working on a stable platform. You know, with um, Beam, we sent three of our guys off uh, to get their VMCs, um, and that's been hugely successful. They're very competent with the um, system. They're able to do everything we, we need to quickly. They're not guessing, they're not Googling, they, they just know how to use the nice. system. You know, going to other platforms will be a complete failure because now when someone wants something, you're in the hot seat, something's down, you need to bring it back up, but you don't use it every day, so what do you do? So. Pull out the manual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Google. Uh, what's the coolest thing you guys have seen here? Anything that really excites you? Oh. Good question. It's, uh, I mean, it's been, we've experienced great hospitality outside of uh, these four walls, of course, <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, it, it's been superb. We've been uh, well looked after and uh, looking forward to further uh, experiences tomorrow as well. We're on, we're, we're on stage tomorrow as well, so a little nervous about that. Uh, <laughs> and the CDP is uh, interesting to you? It's extremely interesting. We are actually um, looking at other solutions to purchase in the next year to take it to the next level to provide the more real-time replication for systems that um, really have to stay up rather than um, be restored. Um, so, And the driver there is just to minimize R R RPO, get as close to RPO zero as possible? Absolutely, you know, like, you know, if you look at an exchange environment, for example, you know, their typical design is to build four servers in a DAG cluster so that you can do active, passive, you know, but instantaneous failure or failover, right? But the problem with that comes in licensing. If you do Oracle, it's the same thing. It doesn't cost a license if a system goes down to then restore that system someplace else. So do you want to pay twice as much licensing and build environments twice as big? Or do you want to be able to just instantaneously fail over, you know, which one costs more money, you know, and which right. one meets the business needs? They both meet the business needs, and one costs a lot less, which means more money to do, you know, other things for the business. Fantastic. I always love the practitioner perspective. Thanks guys for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. No problem. You're welcome. All right, keep it right there, buddy. We'll be back with our next guest. This is a Cube. We're live from VeeamON 2017. We'll be right back. Oh,